What is up, bros? We Josh here. In today's video, we are going over the New Orleans. Now, this is the Tier 8 USN Cruiser, and this is one that's been probably my highest like requested ship I, I think I ever play, or people asking, how do you play this ship? How can I play this ship? What am I doing wrong with this ship? I can't make this ship work. And so I've been playing it a little bit more recently, and I'm trying to show off the potential of this ship. Now, in the latest rank seasons, the New Orleans really didn't have that much of a presence. Recently with the buff, it extended its radar range. Actually, if you are ever playing this ship, keep a little note that if you are detected, this is of course about the shooting penalty, if you are detected, you can radar what is ever in your range, which makes this ship very, very dangerous, especially going against destroyers, because if you're trying to sneak up on a New Orleans, you will actually get radared because you are within the radar range, and since this is a USN radar, it will last a little bit longer than let's say like a Russian radar would. Um, but this ship has a lot of things actually going for it. One, it's a USN cruiser, so it has a, uh, a relatively high AA. This is assuming you're running a semi-AA build captain, which really, if you just run AFT, especially if we're going against a tier 6 CV, we'll be able to shoot down a few. If you're running AFT, that's about all you're going to need. Yes, you could go full AA on this thing if you really wanted to. I don't really think it's needed, um, but you're going to be pretty effective if you ever want to go semi-AA with just an AFT captain. I'll show you my captain and my modules that I run after the game. But this thing has a, some stuff going for it. One, it has big 203s. The USN 203s and a pretty good shooting arc, decent reload, and... Um, these shells hit really, really hard. I think one one thing people focus on this ship is is one or the other when it comes to ammo. This thing, one, its AP is absolutely brutal. You can easily rip uh, battleships for 10k salvos with this AP. It's it's absolutely disgusting. Two, you can destroy cruisers with its AP. Absolutely disgusting. And on top of that, it has a relatively good fire chance, and um, its HE will also hit extremely, extremely hard. Um, this is kind of the ship that follows the Pensacola. And the Pensacola, for a lot of people, is you know, is a really, really quote unquote bad ship. A lot of people have trouble for that. And the main thing I think a lot of people do wrong is there are different kind of styles of CVs or uh, CVs. I'm, so I'm watching the plane. So uh, that's why I said CVs. There are different styles of cruisers. And what I mean by that is actually kind of like three styles. You're going to have smoke cruisers, which is going to be like the Royal Navy line. You're going to have and the Flint and stuff like that. You're going to have kind of open water cruisers, which are going to be more like the, um, the IJN a little bit, a little bit more stealthier. Um, uh, the uh, the German cruisers are what I, would, what I would call kind of open water ships, as like the Hindenburg and stuff like that in the higher tiers. Um, you are kind of going to play this like a tier 8 Des Moines, and if you've ever played the Des Moines at tier 10, how it plays. And of course, I'm going to prime up a radar for this Moss. Um, what you're going to basically do is make yourself a for a real tick and what i mean by that is you are going to use environment to be a um to get kind of settled in here somewhere where you can fire and um and there he just went out of my range there but um you're basically going to set up in a situation where you can one use environment to block your detection and to um, block the ability for people to shoot you so using environment is absolutely massive when it comes to these ships and with pensacolas and um new orleans you have your relatively high flat walls as you can see the sides of the ship when i zoom back out um the 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 sides are pretty flat so you can get absolutely destroyed off this planet and you have that kind of armor where you're going to take those full pens and those citadels instead of just complete over pens so, um, but I mean, just start watching while we just kind of start hitting these guys really, really hard. We're going to start sending a lot of fires this game. Um, the HE is extremely good. I could have kind of rolled with, um, AP, but since we had a destroyer, double destroyer in this area, what you're trying to do first is you're trying to get those fires and trying to force those, um, those, uh, those fires and force those repairs so the torpedoes or other HE will start to then work them down. But not only are you going to have high, since the 203s, you're going to have really, really high Sigma, but you're still going to have a good fire chance. And overall, I think a pretty decent reload. So as you can see right now, I'm not getting too aggressive. Um, like right there, basically front guns only. We just did 6,000 in a fire on this thing. It's, it's pretty nasty with what this ship can actually do. But as you can see right now, I'm basically blocking. I'm using this environment here. Um, one thing that's really good is this can actually break line of sight um, for this sort of thing, or I can back away. And I'm holding down this whole point from a destroyer getting really aggressive against my turpits. My turpits went a little aggressive here, but still end up working out okay. Um, but yeah, I'm posting up in this area, locking down this whole area right here with my radar. And then allowing our destroyer um, to then start working towards these other ships and getting into a bit better of a of a range. And really, I'm just kind of slowly pummeling down all these guys. 
Um, one of the downsides is um, what you'll find with a lot of the USN cruisers uh, is they have a kind of a bit of a lob when it comes to their shells. So if you ever played like the um, the Des Moines or if you've really played kind of anything, you're going to have a, some trouble getting long range shells as if you play like the Russian line or the German line. But the upside about this kind of trajectory is you can shoot over stuff really well. You can shoot over islands, which you should hopefully be using in your advantage. And absolutely, like, basically setting up where if, if it was just a Alabama, I would keep that island, this bigger island right here in front of me. And then I would just lob over that and then actually break line of sight. So when you are playing these ships, you're trying to use line of sight to be able to um, shoot over as you can see them or other things are spotting them, but they can't see you and do damage to you. So keep that in mind when you are playing. Keep that in mind. So down goes our turpits. We lost a couple ships, and I'm going to start making a bit of a move. I don't want to go too aggressive here because they have one battleship there, one battleship there. So I'm going to be showing a broadside to something. They have CVs going in here, but we do want to start getting some shots, and that's what I'm talking about with that shell that can go over those. Like if I was in, let's say, like the Chappie, I don't know if I would have really got that shot off. I think I would have maybe clipped on the island. But um, what you're basically going to do, though, is set up in a situation where you're using environment to keep you protected and then being a huge, huge pain in the ass. And these things are extremely effective at doing that. Um, and as you go through, you will continue up to the Baltimore and continue up to the Des Moines. And you're going to kind of play the same thing over and over and over. I think one thing that people do is for the longest time, the, the Cleveland actually really, comp really kind of difficult to... Uh, to citadel it was a and then they kind of move where the citadel was and how citadels work for it um so you would almost feel like you were kind of i don't, I don't even know kind of impunishable when it came to the because you would just get kind of like all these overpens on it and you wouldn't ever really get citadel no it's a little bit different um but i think people just this is another situation where people a lot of people play these ships wrong and as right now um since you have a pretty low detection when you're not firing i think it's 9.1 now because they lowered this detection as well as the pensacola um i could actually go dark here which is something that i think a lot of people don't do enough is when they start taking fire um they say okay well i'm taking fire i just need to continue to shoot so what i'm trying to do right now is wait for the penalty to go off repair that fire hold the fire of course and go dark so you are very stealthy one of the stealthiest ships at tier 8 and so i'm waiting for the akazuki to drop a smoke from me then i will begin to make my escape out to the right and get away from these battleships because they are my kryptonite but he's gonna be pretty close and i will be able to absolutely smash him with ap and of course these planes kind of come in but as you can see i'm switched to ap right now and I'm going to wait so that Alabama doesn't wreck me to the right, to my left a little bit. And then we're going to focus on this. So I'm being very, very patient. That's what you're going to do with this. You're going to be very, very opportunistic when it comes to this line. If you are just going guns a-blazing, you will absolutely get smashed. Uh, you just you can't tank good enough at this tier. Things punish it this much to this tier. you got to play into the strengths of the ship. And that is, um, down, down goes that mouse. But we have radar, so we will absolutely smash him. Even with AP, you're extremely accurate with the ship as well. And down he goes with one salvo, six overpens, and let's shred some planes down. So right now we have 45k, nothing too crazy, but the game is not over, but we are down pretty big. But I'm healthy, and um, so what I'm doing right now is I'm shooting down those planes from my destroyer, take all those down. I'm doing about a 3k salvo on this guy, but now we're just going to do what US Sun Cruisers do well, throw that 203 AP down range. And just start beating the hell out of the shores. Even though he was turned in, still Citadel, still 6k salvo. And he's not going to last very long. Um, even if he goes bow tanking, I can just straight up alpha damage. Um, but I think the biggest fault... Uh, th these ships have a lot of upside. And, and they have some downside. Downside is they can be citadeled off, off the entire planet. Uh, but basically so can everything at this tier. And almost all cruisers can at this tier. The upside of this thing, extremely stealthy, good radar, amazing guns, and if played right, they can be absolutely brutal. So I don't think we dropped a, a salvo on that guy that was less than 3 or 4k, and um, we can just start working this guy down. So we, me and this destroyer in, in my division uh, need to work together and just kind of beat this down. So I'm going to go a bit more. I'm still using the smoke, but I'm not giving up any broadside, getting kind of away. You can actually hold some decent angles. You can bow tank, let's say, on like the Baltimore and the Des Moines a little bit better um, than you can with like the New Orleans. But the New Orleans can tank a little bit, um, especially like the smaller calibers. But at this tier, you are going to basically be, um, you are basically going to be kind of overmatched by almost everything. 
So, um, using the environment is, is the main thing. That's the one thing I can harp on you guys, or I, I will harp on you guys the most with this ship, with the Pensacola, with the Cleveland, with the Baltimore. It is honestly the same playstyle, and, and the perfect example of this line. Now, this is, of course, before the entire change, so who knows where everything will end up being. Um, you know, with the cruiser potentially going to A, or with the Cleveland potentially going to tier 8 and stuff like that is learning at that tier now the omaha and under that's kind of completely different the maps are completely different the meta is completely different um but the earlier you can really practice with the cleveland is play this thing as if you're playing the cleveland play it as an aa barrage um kind of post up support ship and you will be very very successful already we are at 81k we're doing relatively good we're burning down these battleships we've got two kills already we've used our radar to push destroyers away and kill a destroyer We've killed a cruiser, and um, we're working on this battle. There's nothing this guy can do. We're relatively skinny. We're small, and we have him lit on fire. He's going to burn anyway. We could have just gone stealth there and just waited for him to burn out. So um, we'll continue to do that. But right now, I just wanted to get him dead as, as fast as possible. And we will end up getting a decent amount of damage. Luckily, this uh, nice Gnizen now has, has worked out for us and decided to stay AFK. So we will get a little bit of an AFK uh, AFK farm on him, so nothing wrong with that. But um, really, use the strength of this ship. This is actually a pretty good line, but people struggle with this. And I kind of call it the Pensacola Syndrome um, of this line. Is A lot of people get done with like the Omaha, then they get into the Cleveland. And the Cleveland is so good. It's extremely, extremely good. I hadn't played it for the longest time, but now I've gotten back into playing it more and more. And um, I kind of forgot how good that ship was. Um, and then it follows up the Pensacola. And the Pensacola is... Basically the same kind of gameplay that you wouldn't play. Um, but people, I think, get way, way too aggressive in the ship. And the ship, for the longest time, um, still has a relatively high uh, detection. But had an insanely high detection. Higher than some of the battleships. Um, so it just got absolutely punished. And um, I just think too many people played this line wrong. So if you play more cautious and play kind of post up and ready to make that next play um kind of just preparing where am i going to go what cover do i have um are there islands i can use um is this thing going to give me broadside can i use the ap uh and of course not being afraid to use the he because the he is absolutely insane uh with those 203s these are usn 203s these things will hurt everything and like i said you can rip 8 10 12k salvos on battleships if they're close enough if they're close enough you will citadel them you know these these are big big powerful guns so i'm always looking for opportunities to do uh to, to throw ap down range and again um you know just play it more like a cleveland than you would kind of just like an open water ship and i think that's what a lot of people have uh they have trouble with this so we're gonna try to farm a little bit more damage and um my destroyer got a little greedy and i think he takes a torp right here but even against battleships i mean we're rocking oh no he survives here but i think he continues to shoot and get smacked right there so little greedy but does he take the torps he does not take the torps so i'm throwing up my last radar seeing if i can spot that destroyer because i know he's relatively low and uh but what we're gonna do right now is he's a little close that's so an alabama it's a pretty it's, it's a little close for my liking so we're gonna start dragging him away so um most people would be like oh we're gonna get blasted off the planet we're gonna use our speed we're gonna use our, our angles if you can get somewhat of an angle you can't actually bow tank but we're gonna use our stealth and start just kiting him away luckily he had he loaded and didn't really hit us um too crazy uh, but already, already we're at 139,000 damage. Yes, the Ganai has now donated some extra, but we're just going to continue to, uh, to to keep kiting this guy away, basically. He's going to have to really get lucky with this salvo. We're going to be way more consistent getting three salvos per against him, and he's burning right now, so I'm feeling pretty good. So I was trying to get another <laughs> another fire on the Ganai's now. Um, the AFK farm is real, boys. Get it when you can. Uh, one thing, though, uh, if there is always an AFK, you'll ne I, the joke I always say on stream is you'll never see more focus fire than you will on an AFK ship. Um, focus on... There's actually Witherer, too. So, um, focus on the ships that can do damage more. As you can see, I got a sticky fire on the Alabama, and I knew I was in a pretty good spot. That's why I was trying to get the extra fires on them. Um, but... Uh, Focus on the ships that will do damage first and then clean up and get that extra damage later. Um, but four kills so far, we kind of came back. We were down, I think, three ships at one point. 
and really, you know, just alternating between HE and AP. If he's giving me somewhat of an ankle, I'm going to use the hell out of these 203s. Especially when he's going to give me kind of a broadside like this. Um, but just how accurate this ship is, you can absolutely punish. So, I mean, all day. That was probably more than that. So, there is the Kraken. And really, we're just going to kind of fast forward through the rest of this and kind of end it and go back to port. But 170k in the New Orleans. Um, a Kraken, two Citadels. Kind of a good mix of Witherer. High caliber arsonist uh, using the right ammo in the right situations. We blasted that shores out of the water. Used the used our radar to get those DDs, and um, you know we still got away with fourteen thousand life, basically tanking a battleship at the end. So being cautious with this ship um, is is going to be going to make you very successful. Uh, it's the it's the players that are going out there and thinking they can just. Get run and gun uh you know if you are playing let's say like a an, a hipper or an organ or something like that that's a bit more forgiving a charles martel even where the citadels are a little different and they can you know they're going to take a little bit more you know they're not quite these floating quote-unquote floating citadels as you would say like the new orleans or the chappie um or the uh i even think the chappie is relatively hard to citadel because I, I tend to get over pens on that ship but like the the mogami or the otago these things are, that are known for being the citadel just donating citadels use its strength you have good radar you have good stealth you have great guns usn guns use that effectively use the cover don't get too aggressive and you will be very very successful in the ship get through it and then you basically just get a better version you know it, you, you get a cleveland at tier six it's it's insanely good you get the pensacola which is actually pretty good at tier seven but a lot of people struggle with it new orleans is a better version of that baltimore is a better version of that and then the des moines of course is the des moines which you will uh if you like this style of play you absolutely love but let's bounce over we're trying basically the end, of the end of this is just chasing the cv into a corner um but let's bounce over to the port and i'll show you guys what i run on captain and as well as my upgrades so here we are in port actually the twitch prime port this offer is still going on as of now i think for a couple more days so it depends on when you're seeing this video but i'll put a link down below you can get some free stuff um get cap the get the cap of captain and actually get the twitch prime port and some free crates with the chance of winning some doubloons um I'll, like i said link down below if you want to check that out as well as using like your twitch prime a free twitch prime uh sub on any of the twitch channels so um what i run on this it's very very basic what i run on this ship and it's going to kind of be pretty straightforward of course we're running everything upgrade running everything upgraded here and I'm, I always run AA on almost every one of my cruisers if I have the choice between AA and sonar I'm gonna run AA almost 100% of the time um, in my opinion AA to me will save my life more than hydroacoustic will although you can play this thing relatively aggressively and push smokes I think I would I would rather especially be in a quote-unquote anti-aircraft uh, ship like the US on the line is known for um uh defensive a is, is almost a must for me on almost every cruiser so that's what i run there of course running the upgraded on all these um it's not really needed on AA if you don't really want to but if you could grab the extra charge on radar um especially if you're running superintendent and always the extra repair but i know some people are credit starved uh running main arm at mod one don't want to lose those guns so running that for sure here at lower chance of fire now you could grab kind of whatever if you notice yourself um propulsion mods steering gear stuff like that the thing is you're gonna lose these basically when you're getting citadeled so if you're getting citadeled um how you're gonna play this ship is you're gonna play it i would say almost campy you're almost gonna play this ship a little campy if you want to play it, um in the long run relatively successful um so you're not hopefully going to be taking too much fire so you're not really going to be losing propulsion much or steering gear as much in my opinion if you do you're basically gonna lose it when you can take a citadel um you will lose it sometimes like from a big shell but i use this the lower chance of fire and flood AA range i think this is pretty basic um nothing else is really needed this ship is extremely accurate as it is uh steering gears this is what i would run right here it makes you if you are going against torps or just trying to get into a, a situation you will be relatively close to islands so avoiding those beaches is always good too so steering gears and then of course concealment 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 on this cruiser as well as this is just a 14 point captain so this is pretty reasonable for anybody priority target i think this is almost a must for every cruiser adrenaline rush is just nice if you are seeing that the turrets are turning a little slow for you extra there's nothing wrong with going expert marksmanship um adrenaline rush is a is a captain uh a captain perk that i like to almost 
take on any build I can. This is just a cherry on top for anything. It just is good. There's nothing wrong with this. It's good for literally everything. The more damage you take, the faster things are going to go. So um, if you don't want that first, if you're really disliking uh, the, the turrets, go for that first. Um, the adrenaline rush is just nice. You can pick it up later if you want, want to give it more points. Um, everything else here, you could grab superintendent for the extra radar. I would probably grab it at 17. See, a 19 point captain for me would be priority target, uh, adrenaline rush, like this normal build up right here. And then at 17, grabbing superintendent, and then at 19, grabbing extra marksmanship. ship. That's what my 19 point would look like. Um, but since this is just a 14 point captain, I want a little bit, little bit greedy here. Went for the demolition expert instead, get that extra two, two percent. Um, it's it really, really nice. Went 10 point first for concealment. I think this is almost a must for your 10 point. Um, you know, depending on what you want to do here, either that or, or again, this is a bit greedy of a 14 point. I think pretty basic would be priority target, extra marksmanship, superintendent, and then concealment. But for me, I just went greedy because I made this captain like two seconds. Um, and then I picked up AFT at 14 points. You want to get that extra range, and I think you get it out to what is it? six six right there that's not too bad so six kilometers you're gonna be start uh hitting that stuff with the aa bloom so that's really good and then again go back in um once you get that 17 point which we're working towards on this captain get that superintendent and then grab an extra marksmanship just for quality of life so anyways guys this ship can be super super effective i'm enjoying i've been playing a lot recently um at least a couple times the stream and i'm actually kind of a uh, been enjoying this ship because it's so different it's been so long since i've actually played this ship and it gets such a negative kind of um you know this has like a negative aura it seems like because i think so many people are just playing it incorrectly so again um using its strengths staying away from its weaknesses and you'll have a lot of success in this ship and can see the actual potential and strength of this ship but anyways guys um this ship had just been requested a lot so i wanted to do a quick little video on a really fun game i had and um hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope you guys are liking this line as well as um as well as just the ship in general and it always it's always good to pick these ships up because if the when the split does come you know there's all that kind of stuff you get the free ship in general um but anyways if you are going this fine light at the end of the tunnel is the des moines and you're, you'll like the the baltimore as well so anyways guys that's it for me hope you guys enjoyed this video remember like subscribe and i'll see you guys next time